on NFL Live earlier today, the Carolina Panthers announcing a four year contract extension for defensive tackle Derek Brown. Our Adam Schefter reporting the deal is worth $96 million over four years, a little more than $63 million guaranteed. And Adam also posting on X about the recent trend in big contracts for defensive tackles. Uh, you see the list here defensive tackles getting paid. The two big ones up there, Chris Jones, Christian Wilkins. Justin Matabike, uh, obviously a trend here where, where teams are prioritizing the interior defensive line players. It used to be that the big money obviously went to the edge guys, but uh, this does seem to be a little bit of a trend. Mina, what do you think about this? Yeah, when you uh, see Robert Hunt, the guard, getting $100 million from mm. Carolina, and you're wondering why, <laughs> it's because of those guys right there. You can put up that list. Um, I, I will say th there's definitely a trend and we'll get to that. I do, however, think some of this is just a confluence of really talented football players being eligible for contracts because every single one of those players you put up is awesome and deserving of the contracts. There's no contract on that board where I'm like, I don't know, he's getting a positional bump. They are all excellent. Um, I think Brown's contract points to one of the reasons why this is happening. So, um, he is extremely good at stopping the run, actually first amongst defensive tackles in ESPN's run stop win rate. And a trend we have seen in the NFL uh, in recent years is uh, defenses trying to stop the run with lighter boxes, allocating fewer players in that front seven to stop it. And I think if you have a player like Brown who can play a gap and a half and, and really control the line of scrimmage, that helps a lot. And it's clearly something that Carolina values in this case. Yeah, we've seen great defenses play from the inside out with their pass rush. Think the Rams with Aaron Donald or the Chiefs with the highest paid player on that list, Chris Jones. This has been a trend that's been coming now over the last decade. Go back to 2014, top 10 edge rushers. They made about 44% more on average than the top 10 defensive tackles in football. Now, after this Derek Brown signing, that number has dropped to 6%. So we're seeing teams being very comfortable saying, we're going to start from the inside out, build a pass rush that way really comes down to what player you have and what kind of core player you want to start your defense with. Good time in history to be one of the big guys on the interior of the offensive or defensive line.